Hello, this is Saswat and welcome you to Data Coder. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the complete guide how to download SAS University Edison, also known as SAS Studio. So let's open a browser page and search for SAS University Edison. Now let's click on the first option available and this will land us to the official website to download this software. Once we are here, we need to scroll down and it will ask us to choose from Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. In my case, it is a Mac OS, so I will select that and this video will focus on installing this software using a Mac OS. But said that, I can say you the steps for installation remains pretty much same across all these three platforms. Let me select Mac. Once I select my OS, it asks me to check for the minimum system requirements. For Mac OS, it asks me to check a version of 10.8 or later, or 64-bit hardware with a minimum 1 GB of RAM, and any one of these browsers installed. So now to give you an idea what are the minimum requirements for Windows looks like, let me click on Windows. And here you can see, apart from the operating system, which says that a Microsoft Windows 7 or later, everything other remains pretty much the same, like same as a 64-bit hardware with a minimum 1 GB of RAM. And again, any, of, any one of these browsers must have been installed. Once we confirm the minimum system requirements are met, we need to further scroll down and we can see a four-step installation overview. In the first step, we need to download a virtualization software and create a couple of folders on the system. Second, we need to download the SAS University Edison. Third, we need to configure this University Edison into the virtualization software. Fourth, we are all set. Right below the overview, we have an instruction document available for a step-by-step -step guide to install this software. Let's click open it. Once it is open, you can see there are four steps that we saw in the overview and it's quite detailed to install the software. Let us keep this open and follow the step by step to install the software now. Now we are ready to install the SAS University Edison software. The first step is the setup. We need to download the virtualization software and create my folders on our local system. SAS University Edison is a virtual application. So we need a virtual software to run it. So just select the download link under step one. Once we are at the VirtualBox website, we need to select the download link as per the OS available. For me, it's a Mac. So I'll select the second one. While this downloads, let's create the folders that is mentioned in step 1b. First, we need to create SAS University Edison folder. Remember, it doesn't matter where you create it. Just be sure to create in a location you remember. I would suggest you to directly copy these names from here and create it at a location you can easily remember. For instance, I will create the folders on my desktop. Then it asks me to create a subfolder within the folder SAS University Edison. Again, I'll copy the same as it is and create the folder within SAS University Edison folder.
that we created the SAS University Edition folder and subfolder my folder and also we completed the VirtualWorks download. We are done with step one. Now it's time for step two. Here in step two, we need to download the SAS University Edition virtual app. For this, you need to click on the link provided in step 2a. Once you click on the link, it will take you to the SAS login interface where you need to provide your login ID and password if you are an existing user. Else, if you are a new user, you need to create a profile. I'm an existing user, so I will just provide my email and password to log in. Once you log in, it will take you to the My Cart, where you will see that the SAS University Edison Virtual Box single user is added to your cart. Now we need to click on Checkout. Once we click on Checkout, we need to provide the delivery address and click on save and continue and the download will automatically start. Once the download begins, it may take some time depending on the speed of the internet. The file size is approximately 2 GB. Once the download is complete, we are done with step 1 and step 2. That is, we downloaded the virtual box and also we downloaded the SAS virtual app. Now it's time to move to step 3. Here we will configure the SAS virtual app into the virtual box. For that we will launch the SAS virtual box first. Once the SAS virtual box is launched we need to click on import and then you will see this page where it says a plans to import source is to select a local file system in the file we will select the sas university edison virtual app that we downloaded we will click continue we will click import Once the import is done, we will select the SAS University Edison and then click on settings. Here we will click on the shared folder and then here we will map to the path of the folders we created in step 1. We created the folders on desktop. Here we will select the SAS University Edison and the sub subfolder My Folders. Click Open. S make sure the read only is not checked. Check out for auto mount. Click OK. And again click OK. And you are done. Now that we successfully installed the SAS virtual app or the SAS studio, we now need to launch it. To launch it, we need to first launch the virtual box.
once the virtual box is initiated click on start and then you will see a sas window or a small console window appearing which initiates the sas session it may take some time to initiate the sas session once the sas session is initiated you will see a console window with a black screen this basically gives the details about the sas session it, it is suggested you do not close this window until the end of your sas session you can minimize it and then go to a web browser and type http colon slash slash localhost colon 10080 this will take to the sas studio start window click on start sas studio bingo we are all set to test if the installation is done properly let's write a small sas program Yes, we have successfully run the program without any errors. Let's see the output. We created a table temp in the work library with the following details. Now see this temp, we can go to the libraries and then work and here you can see the temp dataset or the temp table has been created. Now we can also save this program by clicking on the save option and then clicking on my folders. My folders is basically are the folders that we created in the step one while installing or the following the steps for installing the SAS studio. Once you click on the my folder, you can edit the name of the program and give it a temp and then click on save. So now we successfully saved the program as temp. You can see this under the my folders. So it will be also stored in the physical folder of my folder. Here it is also saved in the form of temp.sas. So that's it. We successfully installed the SAS University Edition and we successfully created a SAS dataset. That's it. Thank you for watching.